Lounging in the sun and playing in rock pools, life's a beach for Kirkano, or New Zealand fur seals. They are a popular site here at Nugget Point, where visitors can get a great view of their antics without disturbing them. I'm going to join Doc Cheryl Puller to learn more about these playful locals. So what makes this a good place for fur seals? Um, you've got the protection here from the weather and, and the big waves, but there's also quite a few rock pools for the wee pups to practice their swimming in because they can't actually go out into the big wide sea while they're still being looked after by their mother. Um, so they, they've just basically got to practice in these wee rock pools that are behind us. What do the pups eat while they're here? The ones that were born in December, January, they'll be feeding on mother's milk for a year. The ones that are the next size up, so last year's pups, they're pretty much being kicked out of home at the moment because the, the new pups demanding on mum's time. So they get kicked out over the wall, if you will, um, into the big wide world and they have to start learning to catch fish for themselves. Are fur seals safe here or do they have any threats like here on land? Uh, no, they're, they're pretty safe here. The main predator, I guess, of, of the seals are the sharks, and, and we do get sharks around this coastline, and they are drawn to the rookeries, you know, with, with the wee pups, and, and this time of year with the, with the adolescent ones being kicked out. So yeah, we, we do get a few sharks worrying them, but that's nature. So are the number of fur seals increasing around here? I think they're staying pretty much stable, but what we see is that in a rookery like this there's lots and lots of young pups and also the juveniles and people get the impression that each one of those pups or juveniles is going to make it to adulthood and carry on breeding. That's not necessarily the case. A lot of these pups that are here now probably won't even make it through to the juvenile stage, let alone when they go over the wall and have to fend for themselves. We do get a lot of juvenile fur seals dying because they just don't learn to catch fish or don't learn to catch enough fish to sustain themselves. Once they get out into the sea as well, you know, there's, there's other things that, like the sharks that they have to contend with. So yeah, the numbers are staying more or less stable. They were once hunted to near extinction on the mainland, as you know, and it's good to see them coming back like this. But they are an absolutely protected species, being um, a marine mammal. So what's the difference between a fur seal and a sea lion? Well, there's three general rules of, of how to tell them apart. First of all, is fur seals like rocky areas, whereas a sea lion prefers a sandy beach. And that also shows up in the way they move. A sea lion, he's actually able to get up on his, on his hind flippers and walk like a dog. So he's actually walking on all four flippers, whereas these guys, they hop themselves along using their front flippers and, and drag, their, drag their rear end along. And also the, the face shape is the other way you can tell as well. A, fur, a New Zealand fur seal has got a very pointy face, like an Alsatian dog whereas a sea lion, he's got a pushed in pug face. seals were almost hunted to extinction so it's great to see this colony here at Nugget Point thriving and other colonies reforming around our coastlines. <laughs>